Do you want to know how all of these LEGO collectors can build such massive collections, but yet you can't seem to do the same? Well, many of these people have figured out how to almost hack the system and get sets at great prices that normal people like you probably aren't able to find. For example, say you buy this $30 bio pack for its listed MSRP at $30. Well, people who know how to find deals can find two or even three of these sets sometimes at the same price that you'd pay for just one meaning they can grow their collection both faster and more effectively than a normal person can. Now, I know there's a lot more that goes into making a clear own collection. Like, you have the space to do it and you have to have a lot of time to go and find the sets, research what sets you want, and then like buy the sets. And if you're buying them on deals, that takes you a bit more time. But the number one obstacle that holds people back from growing their Lego collection to massive reaches is money. So that's why in this video, we're gonna give you guys the top five tips to grow your collection on a budget that won't even make your wife mad. Now, rule number one, you have to shop sales. Sales are crucial to finding cheap Lego sets. We have this simple Speed Champions Jessica right here. Got this for only $10 half off from Walmart just because I knew when to look and where to look. So places you're gonna to wanna to shop for your sales are your Walmarts, Myers. Targets are often really good as well, and just kind of any retailer that sells LEGO third party from the LEGO company itself. These places are going to have to you like rollbacks or like special clearance a lot of times, and you'll just see them pop up throughout the year, so you got to know like what times of the year they're like switching out inventory to look for stuff, but especially like Black Friday and like summer sales, you can find very good deals from these places. Now step number two, and this applies more to retired sets, but it's still crucial if you want to grow your collection because you got to shop some retired sets too. You have to use Bricklink, eBay, and Mercari, those three websites, and there might be a few others out there, but those are the three main ones I use and that people use. Those three websites though are going to be crucial to growing your retired collection. These sources are going to give you the best way to buy retired sets without overpaying. For example, Amazon and Walmart, they do sell retired sets but they're oftentimes 10x the price of what they would be on Bricklink or eBay. And a lot of these times you can often find deals that are just from people that like don't really know how to price an old set. Maybe it's a new one that just retired and there's not super huge supply and demand scale for it. So you can often find really good deals on these sets. Tip number three, you have to learn to stack and kind of build your points to buy Legos. You can do this through two ways. One way you can do it is just through the use of credit cards or cashback programs. Um, not sponsored by them, but like Rakuten is a huge way. A lot of people save money on Lego, for example. Around Black Friday, they're on like 5% back or something from Target. So say you went to Target and you had a Target Circle card. You bought this set, got 2% cash back on your Target card, and then another 5% back from Rakuten. Well, on that online purchase alone, you're going to now be saving about 7%. And that's a pretty substantial saving if you're just kind of casually buying a Lego set. Now, the second way you can do this very effectively is by stacking your deals with LEGO Insider Weekends. I think there's roughly eight to 10 LEGO Insiders Weekends they do throughout the year. You can go just search them, you'll be able to find them um, from different websites or on LEGO's page themselves. But th what they do is they'll do 10, three, sometimes even four X Insider Points Weekends. And what Insider Points are is essentially, so say I buy this LEGO set and I get, maybe on this one I'd get like 100 points back or something, I don't know. So I'd get roughly what would equate to like maybe 5% back on this set, which I can then use towards other Lego purchases in the future, which if you're a collector, you're probably gonna be buying Lego anyways, let's be honest. So what I can do at 2X is say I buy this set and normally we get like $3 back in future Lego money. Well, now I'm gonna be getting six and so forth. So it's just a great way. You can also add up more deals to save even more money. Now tip number four, again, not sponsored by them yet, but, um, <laughs> Whatnot is a great source for finding deals. I've used this app for well over a year now. I've sold on it some too. Go follow the Whatnot if you haven't already. Whatnot allows stars to host live auctions. And for you, this means that you get a bid on items live and in the moment as if you're at a real auction. eBay does bids and auctions, but they usually don't really work well for deals because you have like a two week window to bid. So that means you got anyone can look at it in that two week window. There's a lot more people to look at it and a lot more time to think, do I truly want this set? Or maybe I'm willing to put more money towards the set. Whereas with whatnot, it's just split second. You have like 30 seconds with a little bit of extra time based on bids to 
um, put your money in. So it's very rushed. So what this means is there's less time for people to think about what they want to buy and less time to put higher prices as they might normally pay had they been able to sit and think about it. For example, I have a shock tee in this case I bought for only $54. I had known I'd wanted a shock tee for a while, so I was keeping my eye out for one. And being able to pick it up at 54 when other people just in that auction weren't able to bid as high was huge for me saving money on that shock tee. Now, tip number five, and what I think is the most valuable asset to finding Lego sets on a discount is Facebook Marketplace. Now this is super common and I see this so often with people who have massive collections or buy bulk Lego to resell to others. Facebook Marketplace has become a staple in the Lego community for buying a large amount of sets. I'll link it right up here, but I had a video earlier this year where I posted I found $3,000 of Lego and I only paid two fifty. dollars It was one of the best deals I've ever found on there and just an example of what you can find. For example, in that purchase, I had over $2,000 of just assorted mock building pieces. The Medieval Blacksmith, I had the Ninjago Lego City, which is still three fifty. Um, at the Lego store, I had the Winnie the Pooh's house, I had Groot, I had, oh gosh, the Panda Minecraft set, I had a couple Winter Christmas sets, uh, Santa Slay, a bunch of other sets, didn't do their dude, um, Darth Vader Mosaic was one I was really excited to get in that, um, but all that being said, on top of that, we had $2,000 worth of mock building pieces, it was a phenomenal deal. And I was super happy to get it. And you can often find these deals from just like parents trying to clear out the basement of their kid who just gone to college and doesn't want his Legos anymore, but maybe he kept really good care of them. So you can find very good and like intact sets that probably have only been used for display, but you're gonna get them at a great price. And I found Facebook Marketplace has the least amount of scams compared to most websites because you're normally meeting the person in real life and rather than just paying online. But if that's somehow not enough to convince you guys of my five ways to build your collection on a budget, then go check out the video linked at the end of this to find out how I bought this set for over half off on Facebook Marketplace. See you on that one. Peace.